My name is Peter Ruprecht and I've got a company called Ruprecht Studios. It's a photography studio as well as a creative direction agency. We get hired by other agencies to come up with campaign designs, marketing ideas, branding ideas. Me and my team produce uh, everything from exhibits in galleries to books. Talia Eisenberg of Heist Gallery came up to me and asked me if I'd participate in a group show for Polaroids. And I had never really shot on Polaroids before. Most of my work was either on uh, 35 film or digital. So what I did was get a bunch of my creative friends together. And we went to the Chelsea Hotel, grabbed my Polaroid, grabbed some lights, tried to go and shoot it, got kicked out of there. At three in the morning, I called my friend up, uh, Artem, who's an artist over in Tribeca, and said, hey man, I just lost my location. I've got to shoot. The show is tomorrow, but I had to have the Polaroids to the mounters by the next day. And so we went to my friend's loft and basically shot the whole concept that I had, which is this modern day visual essay of the concept of a muse. So one of the things that happens is when you shoot digitally so often, you kind of get locked into this mindset of this instant feedback that you've got and you don't really have enough room um, mentally to just take chances because you're seeing exactly what you get the minute you shoot it and so you're always trying to adjust and one of the things that I wanted to do was actually to go back to film um, and back to Polaroids and try to start shooting in a one in a one shot deal meaning capture that moment of inspiration and have it be frozen so it can't be changed so when I wanted to put the book together um, I decided to go again, back again. to film and back to Polaroids to capture that instant moment without the ability of um, of really manipulating it too much. And for me, it's just been fantastic because every time I walk in, I always walk out either with a new book or a new magazine or a new piece of equipment. And it's just been fantastic uh, for kind of the, the creative gelling of, of projects. The, the common thread is basically just creative outlet. Sometimes it's commercial, sometimes it's artistic. Right. Right now we're in one of the studios inside Splashlight Studios. Hey, Benoit. Hey. How are you, man? Good. One of the premier photography studios in New York City. So anytime you walk within these studios, uh, not only can you come here and get work done, but you're also going to be able to see a lot of amazing artwork always on the wall. This is an image that I took of a Muslim bride uh, where she is going through the marriage ceremonies and I was one of the only men allowed into this area to photograph her during this process. This is kind of one of those pictures that where everything came together all at once and it was extremely lucky. We had the sun setting which gave me this kind of blaze of light here. We had a really dark uh, sky which was from a storm leaving at the same time that we have a festival going on in Varanasi. Um, and it's one of my personal favorites. It happens to be one of a lot of people's favorites. If I could figure out the way to explain my life in less than five minutes, it would serve me well because that's one of the most damn common questions you get in New York. It's like, hey, what's your name? What do you do? Most recently, I was the vice president of interactive and new media at Mark Echo Enterprises. So again, responsible for creating digital environments that include sound, that include sight, that include commercial viability. But what that translated into later was my desire to break the mold, so to speak. And I thought to myself one day, why am I doing this for other people? Why not take a shot at doing it for myself? In my last show, for example, one of the rooms that I created uh, that was a whole audiovisual installation where I took photographs of a storm coming in in, uh, in Lake Powell, Arizona. A big lightning storm. I just happened again to be there exactly at the right time and I watched it form. Over a 15 minute period it went from a blue sky to thunderheads and lightning. And so I took all these images of it and printed them on plexiglass put a light inside of the plexi. I kind of created this pyramid out of these plexiglass material uh, with the images on, put a light inside of it to create this kind of light emanating uh, box of this images of storms coming in. 
And then also around the outside of the room on the white walls, kind of like you see here, projected the images of the caves that I had originally gone there to shoot and then created a, a, a soundtrack that was based off of the, the thunder and the lightning and everything else that was going there. And to me, that was almost like a cathartic part of the photography show that I had because one can only walk so many hallways and see a photograph and then another photograph and then another photograph. I think the most important message for anything, it doesn't really matter whether it's business, whether it's art, whether it's sports, you're going to fail more often than you're going to succeed. But if you've got that desire and that idea and that spark and you actually execute on it, then by nature, you're an entrepreneur. I'm Peter Ruprecht and you're in the cut.